Okay, so let's look at this first clip. We get the ball, or we pass the ball to our center mid. And of course, we have a lot of space here. Make a great run. We're completely through on goal. Finish it. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? My name is Dani Fisser, professional FIFA player for Team Gullit. And I said, and today I'm going to show you how to use the player look as a pro. So today we will be going through four specific topics. The first one is how to use it from your fullback to one of your winger. The second one is how to use it into the box. And the third one is how to use it from one of your center mids to your strikers. And last but not least, the fourth one is how to cancel player looks. Okay, so the first topic is from your fullback to your winger. Okay, let's look at the clip. Okay, as you can see, I have the ball with my right back. Player lock it to my winger. Walk into the tiny gap, get out of the back, pass it, pass it, score a goal. Okay, so let's break down this first clip. At, at first, you want to learn how to use the player lock, of course. You need to press L3 and R3 at the same time. You want to switch to one of your other players, in this case, the winger. And you do that by flicking your right stick to your winger. Let's look at it. We get the ball with the right back. We player lock and Bappe. And then, of course, the important thing is not to pass it immediately, uh, but to make a run first because the AI will control the right back. So you don't have to worry about that. Walk into the little space in the middle because that creates a lot of space for the other players as well. Look at who has a lot of space. In this case, it's the striker. Pass it to your other striker because that's the easy choice to score a goal and finish it. Then the second clip, we have the ball with our left back. We just run for a little while and then the player lock happens again. So what we do, we flick it to the left winger in this case, walk into the same space as we did in the first clip, pass the ball and you will see at this exact moment that there's like a huge gap between his right back and his center back. So the only thing we needed to do was to run through on goal and finish our chance, of course. So the second topic I want to talk about is to how to use the player lock in the box. It can create a lot of chances with it and you can score a lot of goals with it. Okay guys, so lo let's look at his first clip. It's just like a regular build up really. Pass the ball, of course, to your striker, but then not shoot. Use the player lock to my other striker to create the 100% chance. Okay guys, so in this build up, like I said, it was just a regular build up. Through ball, through my striker. At this point, you can think, Let's shoot, let's shoot. If we shoot, it can be a goal. Of course, it can be a goal, but here is how to use the player lock in the box. Because you need to play, press L3 and R3 again, of course. Flick it to your other striker. So in this case, uh, like flick my right stick up. Walk a little bit backwards to create like a lot of space for that striker and finish it. It's very simple. Create a 100% chance out of an 80% chance with the player lock. Okay, so here's where the fun begins. It gets a little more advanced, but let's look at this clip. We have the ball with our right winger. Our center mid has pushed up forward. We use the player lock for the first time in this attack. We find the center mid, then let's just cut it right here. Our striker makes a run into the space. Uh, we did that with the L1 button because what the L1 button does is uh, you can send another player for a run. If you press R1, he gets into the ball and you can make a lot of different choices with the L and R1 button, which is, in my opinion, one of the best buttons in the game. But then we send our striker on a run. We run with our center mid and then the second player lock happens. And in this case, our striker is completely covered. The defender is standing in front of him. No space whatsoever. But because of the player lock, we can create the space and score a goal. Okay guys, so the third thing I want to talk to you about is to how to use it from your center mid to your striker. It can make a huge difference in the runs that your striker makes, of course, because you can put your creativity into it. Okay, so let's look at this first clip. We get the ball or we pass the ball to our center mid and of course we have a lot of space here. Make a great run. We're completely through on goal. Finish it. Okay, guys, let's look at the clip again. I pass the ball to my own center mid. And in this case, of course, striker is completely free. But the thing is, uh, why I use the player lock is because if I don't use it and pass it to him, there's like three defenders in front of him still. And you need to do a lot of stuff to get to the goal. We don't want that. So we player lock it, run, to, run into the space where none of the defenders are and pass it with the R1 pass. He is completely through on goal and, of course, it's a goal. 
Okay, so in this second clip, of course, we pass it to our center mid again. Player lock it immediately. The thing is, with this player lock, of course, we can pass it right now. But because we player lock it, make a little run backwards. You don't have to do a lot of stuff with the player lock. Just like a few meters to get a lot of space. That's what we did here. We pass it. Just look at it. Like you have two or three meters. You have a lot of space. Just left stick dribble and finish it on the goal. So the fourth thing I want to talk to you about is how to cancel it. When you think you've seen it all, there's actually a part where you can cancel the player logs. It's one of the most advanced things in the game, but it's one of the best things in the game. Let's look at this first clip. We run through on the wing and then, of course, we player log, switch it to the striker, but then we cancel it. Run a few meters, pass it either way and score the goal. Okay, so let's say you're running down the wing, like I do in this clip. Uh, of course, we need to play a locket because that's what all this is about. We select the striker like we did in one of the first examples. Then make the little run backwards because like I said, it creates, it creates a lot of space for my striker. But then immediately cancel it. You need to press L3 and R3 at the same time to cancel your play lock. What this does, it... it focuses or your opponents will focus and pay his attention to your striker but you've cancelled it so the striker doesn't like matter anymore his center back is completely out of position and just one simple pass to score a goal of course we just learned the player lock how to cancel it this is to confuse your opponent you need to cancel it but i'm going to use it multiple times in the same clip look at this one this is the first time I use a player look. I player look to my striker, cancel it. His attention is now on that striker. I run for a little, player lock it again to my other striker, make a little run, but cancel it again. Now his attention is on that specific striker. And then we need to run a little more. And then the most important one and the last one, we need to player lock the striker again, make like a big run this time. He covers that striker and of course, he is completely confused by now and just dribble through on goal with this gorgeous dribble and finish it. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. This was Danny Fisser with how to use the player luck as a pro. See you soon.